Hello again. In the previous lab, we have connected MicroTik 2 router to MicroTik 1 router wirelessly. Okay. In this lab, we are going to make a configuration of MicroTik 2 router so it can provide internet service also to the internal network. All right. So let's go directly and see what we have to do in this lecture. By end of this lecture, you will be able to configure MicroTik 2 to provide internet to the wired internal network and test if the lab is done correctly. Let me just show you what we have done here this time. We had MicroTik 1 with an SSID and connected to the internet and then we made connectivity here between the two uh, routers, okay, as a station. Okay, so this is was a station, wirelessly they were connected to each other. And then on this router, uh, we had internet because it received an IP address from the DHCP through the wireless 2 WLAN 1. Okay, now our work is uh, from this router to the LAN to provide internet. Okay, this is the LAN here. So we need to provide internet to the LAN. Now, someone can ask me, why can't we provide internet wirelessly and why do we need to make it on wired? Because we are using at this time the radio of uh, the network card, wireless network card inside the router, which is WLAN, to be as a station. So it's a technology to be made as a station. And uh, we cannot have a station, so it means connecting two routers wirelessly, and then an access point bridge at the same time on the MicroTik router, unless we use some type of package, and I will do a video after this video to show you how to do it. But by default, you cannot do that, okay? So this lab, I'm gonna show you how you can provide internet to the wired network, and in the upcoming video, I will show you how you can do your radio network card here to be a station and at the same time an access point switch, okay? My PC here, laptop, is connected to Ethernet 1. So I want all this PC to be able to go to the internet, okay? But also in this lab, I'm gonna show you that if you plug into Ethernet 2 or 3 or 4, because I have port ports here, also this laptop can be on the internet. Step number one, check if the wireless station is still working and that your MicroTik 2 router is connected to the internet. All right, so let's go to Winbox and uh, MicroTik 2. You can see this is the IP on the WLAN interface that was received from MicroTik 1 and this is the IP that I put it on Ethernet 1 to be able to connect to the router. Okay, let's see. I go to the wireless here. I have an R, okay? You can see I get inside of it. You will see station. All right, so the wireless station is still working, meaning the link here, this one, is still working wirelessly. And uh, the also the second part of the question is to say if we are connected to the internet. All right. To be connected to the internet, uh, we have to check if first we have the IP address received on WLAN, and we do. And then the last thing I can do is to make a test. From here, I can ping a dot a dot a dot a, and here we go. You can see I have reply. All right. That means that my uh, MicroTik 2 router is now on the internet. First step is done. Point number two, make Ethernet 1 interface a master interface for Ethernet 2, 3, and 4. So why do we need to do that? this? Remember when I was telling you here in this graph here that I want also that if I put my cable from my PC to port Ethernet 2 or 3, or four, I want it also to be having internet. So when I, what we are going to do now, we are going to make Ethernet 1 as the master, and the rest will be like slave, or there will be like switch port to Ethernet 1, okay? To do that, I have to go to the interface here, Ethernet 1, I leave it, I go to Ethernet 2, inside Ethernet 2 here you have master port, I say the master port of Ethernet 2 is Ethernet 1. Also on the Ethernet 3, the master port of Ethernet 3 is Ethernet 1. You can see here it's moving to S. Okay, S means slave. And here, the master port of Ethernet 4 is Ethernet 1. Alright, so now one, the Ethernet 1 is like the king, 2, 3, 4 are like slave for Ethernet 1. Alright, this step is also done. 
chat 10.0.0.1 slash 24 on Ethernet 1 interface. This we have already done it before, but uh, to be sure, we can go to IP address and you can see 10.0.0.1 is set on Ethernet 1. Okay, number three is done. Now, number four. Create a DHCP server on Ethernet 1. What we need to do now is we need to make a DHCP, so I'll write here a DHCP server to, prove, to give IP addresses. Okay, this DHCP needs to be set on Ethernet 1 because Ethernet 1 is the master and it's and from the HCP server, we're going to provide to all wired network, means Ethernet 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so we set the DHCP server, and then we need to do a NAT, meaning that the DHCP server here will have to give IP addresses from 10.0.0.2 .0 .0 till 254. This will, will provide all those addresses. So if I have a PC connected to Ethernet 2, then it will receive an IP of 10.0.0.2 say that three and now here i have 10.0.0.2 but those are private ip private ips are not routed to the internet okay they cannot go to the internet that's why i need a network address translation to translate the subnet of 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 24 we want to translate it to be able to go to the internet okay and the translation will be from 10.0.0.0 slash 24 to the ip that is provided from microtech one absolutely okay and then from microtech one of course there will be another net because also the ip is provided from microtech one which is normally 192.168.2. something this is also private then there will be also another net here but this is not important for us what is important is to do our work here and over here is something between the core router and the isp okay so we need to create dhcp on ethernet one step number four we go to ip dhcp server dhcp setup on ethernet one correct next provide ip from this range 10.0.0.0 slash 24 that's correct the gateway is 10.0.0.1, that's the IP of Ethernet 1, that's also correct. We provide IP from 10.0.0.2 till 254, that's also correct. The DNS, let me put 10.0.0.1, and I put also 8.8.8.8. Okay. So my DHCP now is working. What I prefer to do before I do the NAT is to uh, check if I receive now IP from the DHCP server. I will go from here, switch off my wireless here. I will say uh, obtain IP automatically and DNS also. And that's on my local area network. Okay. And then, okay. Let's see if we have received an IP from the DHCP. I will go to CMD, IP config. And here we go. We have an IP 10.0.0.253. So if I ping now 10.0.0.1, I can ping the router. Okay. But if I ping to the internet from my PC, I have no internet. You can see there's a request timeout. And that's because we need to still do the NAT. All right, now I will connect again to the MicroTik 2. The step now is to create the NAT to allow the subnet 10.0.0 to go to the internet. All right, to do this, so here I have no internet. We keep it on. I will go from here to IP and I will go to firewall to NAT and then I will create a, a source NAT. 10.0.0.0 slash 24 okay so here i'm saying anything coming as a source from 10.0.0.0 so any ip coming from this subnet the action will be to masquerade masquerade means not okay 
and then I say okay here we go you can see once I've done the NAT now I have the internet working okay and you can see here the traffic so it was request timed out and now I have internet on my PC to check again I can from here go to the website any website you would like to test and then you can see I have internet connectivity working check if we have internet yes we have internet so in conclusion in this lab we could after having our router Microtik 2 as a station and getting the wireless connectivity and internet from Microtik 1 we could distribute the internet on the wired network by distributing the internet from Microtik 2 to the wired network one more thing I need to do now my PC is connected to the Ethernet 1. I want to check if I put my cable to Ethernet 2 port, we still have Internet. I'm taking now out my port, my cable from my port. It's out of, you can see, general failure, and I put it on Ethernet 2. Here we go. I have Internet, and this is, if you would like to see, I can show you from here, interface, Ethernet 2, you can see it's passing traffic. This is the lab that I wanted to show you. I hope that you enjoyed it and I see you in the upcoming lecture.